And why are we here today then? Because a little birdie tells me <laughs> you're quite used to this environment. I am. I actually am a wedding dress designer. So for many people then, Sarah, many. they're going to be wondering, why the hell <laughs> has she come to us? I mean, isn't that like, you know, Gordon Ramsay being taught how to make eggs on toast? So the first time round, I designed the dress and I've never had the experience of being in the centre of attention rather than behind the scenes. Right, OK. And do you want so. to be the centre of attention? Yes and no. <laughs> you have got a lot of pent-up stress here, haven't I have. you? It's real fear, <laughs> isn't it? It is pure fear. It's more than the dress. I've got to... I, I need to build on my confidence. I don't want to be laughed at. Does that come from something that's happened before in your life? I was married for 27 years. Right, OK. And I was happy. And then one day, he just decided that was it. Right. I am absolutely terrified. My confidence has been knocked um, quite significantly in the past, and it's easy just to hide away. What's the worst thing that can happen when you see yourself in a mirror? I cry. OK, and why, why might you cry? Because I won't like what I see. And what, what is the worst thing that you could look like? Um, frumpy. OK. And ugly. Yeah. And fat. So, all of that negativity, mm -hmm. I know exactly where that comes from. You're in a relationship, he does one, you don't have any answers why, so you're then left with an open piece of paper. One summer, my ex-husband decided he just didn't want to be married anymore. He was never given a reason why, so it's that guessing for a good couple of years what was wrong with me. You filled up that piece of paper, I think. Yeah. And with every possible reason, and every single one of those possible reasons, you've just told me about this dress, which is frumpy, fat, old, that is a past relationship. That's not this dress. This dress is symbolic of your future. Yeah. And it's symbolic of Ollie mm -hmm. and your love for him. <laughs> yeah. And how far you come. Mm -hmm. All right? I have to bring my barriers down and listen and get the message to sink in that I am good enough. One. Mm. Relax. Two. Three. Go on. Um, don't know. Um, I don't, don't like this. I opened my eyes and I didn't like what I saw coming back at me. <laughs> Tears face. I really like it, yeah. <laughs> So how does it feel to be in the wedding dress now, then? It's a good first step. We can see your body now, can't we? Yes. OK. I can see it for the first time. The first time in how long? Yes. And your body is now? It's OK. Isn't that amazing <laughs> that your body can be OK? <laughs> OK, let's spin you round. Let's start with you, Tia, first of all. So your first reaction was you like it. I do. Talk it's... us through. What do you like about it? It's very, it's very sparkly. It's very bold, unique. And you can actually see your waist now. You're not hiding it. Yeah. You actually see your body. Yeah. Jane, my darling. Um, I like, yes, I like the silhouette. Are we in the right territory of getting yeah, Sarah like, into the I right like the space? Sparkle. Superb. We've allowed you in this dress to be the dressmaker. But from this moment on, you are no longer. You are now okay. our bride. OK. You've had your moment. OK. <laughs> I hope she's not stressing Gok. I hope she's listening to Gok and not um, stage managing the situation and taking over as a, a bridal director. Do you want that to come off now? Thank you. No, I'll do that. Don't you worry. I'm going to do a single thing. It's really hard to make the shift, and I'm terrified to let go. One. Two. Three. When I look in the mirror, I never look at the the silhouette first. I'm I'm looking at fabrics and embellishment, and I, I know I'm supposed to look beyond that. But it's really it's what my eyes are drawn to. Okay. 
Um, but yes, there's definitely a smaller waist there. It's, it's fussier than I thought mm. I would go for. But do you feel good? Yeah, I think so. I feel more confident in this dress than I did in the first one. I think the initial shock has gone and the confidence is growing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jane, we'll start with you first. What are you thinking? I'm not too keen on the fabric coming up the two levels. Yeah, so the horsehair trim. Yeah. yeah I love the top, though. I think yeah. your bust line looks lovely. That's really nice. Tia! I like the off-the-shoulder and the mesh. It does suit you more. And I love the skirt, but this bit I don't like. But you can tell you're a lot more comfortable in yourself and you're actually showing yourself off. So here's my thoughts. I think we've found the right cut for you, 100%. I really think this is the silhouette. Yeah. For me. So let's find some simplicity. Let's find some elegance. And let's see what kind of narrative we come up with with that one. And I think I've got the right dress in mind. that big smile. So. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely different, but I absolutely love it. You can see you. I and, know. And you're actually happy. You've got a smile stuck on your face. <laughs> I think it looks gorgeous, yeah. I love the veil and everything. Look at that waist. I know. You, you waist. couldn't look at yourself in the mirror in the first dress. And I just looked again. <laughs> You couldn't look us in the eyes no. this morning, no. yet now you're standing there fully in control. So that leaves me a very important question to <laughs> ask you, Sarah. Are you saying yes to the dress? Yes, I'm going to say yes to this dress. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. I think it's absolutely amazing. She probably wouldn't have chosen that dress without him giving her the confidence to appreciate her body shape. Don't cry. <laughs> oh, lipstick. I don't care. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be the start of her becoming more confident and being the old, her old self. Mm. Today was far more about just getting a dress. It was getting my confidence back and learning how to appreciate the skin I'm actually in and not hide it away and be proud of what I've got.